Hey, today I'm going to be talking about a handful of really, really simple smart home automations. These are things to really get you started and, you know, get those creative juices flowing. The first one I'm going to talk about is actually a two in one. So the first home automation that's super easy is utilizing virtual switches in Home Assistant to mirror other items. So we do this for our garage doors, which is why I'm in the garage, as well as our deadbolts. And the reason I do that is because there's certain things within some of the voice assistants that won't interact directly with them. So I'll show you here in Home Assistant what that looks like. So here you can see in Home Assistant, I have a bunch of these virtual um, automations. I'm just going to pick one. This is uh, Garage Door 3 open. When the Garage Door 3 changes to on, this is the virtual Garage Door 3, then what we want to do is actually open Garage Door 3. So in this end, I have, you know, just those threes. That, so that'd be numbers one, two, and three for Home Assistant. And then on, say, Google, I could have it say, if you say this to Google, you know, it does this other thing. So it's very specific how I have everything set up and that helps protect the security of our devices while exposing them to some of the voice assistants. And I bounced over in Home Assistant over to the helpers. So it's in with the integrations. If you go to the last tab on the right at the bottom, that's your helpers. And these are just input booleans that I have named uh, virtual with, you know, whatever the device is. So then I have it mirrored um, and then it also, you know, mirrors and the other direction so that if the garage door were to open the virtual would mirror that so at all times like they're in sync they're not the backstreet boys they're in sync hashtag dad jokes the next super easy automation involves these blinds these are blinds magic blinds throughout our master bedroom and what we have these do is at a certain time monday through friday they go ahead and open up and start letting the sunlight in we don't have them open all the way we just have them turn so that it, the shears are showing and it lets some of that sunlight in without you know being too much so i'll pull up home assistant and here you can see in the morning when the time is 5 45 a.m if the day is monday through friday Friday, then it goes ahead and um, it says closes, you know, all the blinds, but I'll let you see what that looks like here in a second. But it's mine and my wife's blinds um, right beside the bed, as well as this larger blind over here. So when I go in, I'm going to simulate that uh, as occurring now. And you can see they open up to the point where it's letting in that additional sunlight and, uh, you know, helps us wake up in the morning and get ready for the day. The next easy automation involves the garage door. So when my son comes home, it opens up his garage door. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in Home Assistant. So here is the automation. When he arrives home, it opens the garage door one, which is the garage you know bay that he parks in, and then also sends him a notification. The reason I have the notification on is sometimes his phone dies or he turns it off or whatever else, so he'll be home for a little while, and then you know his phone will you know register as being in the zone, so it'll open the garage door. And it might be you know later at night or something, so I want that notification to occur that way he knows the garage door opened and he can you know go in and close it or whatever else if he needs to in those in those particular situations the next easy automation involves the refrigerators and freezers so in each of our refrigerators or freezers we have a device that detects temperature and then after a certain period of time if it's outside of our comfort zone on those temperatures for our food then we get notified so i'm going to show you in here we have this is our basement you know alcohol fridge and such but we have just the old iris uh contact sensor that detects the temperature as well so we have that in the back there and it monitors the temperature and then we jump into home assistant here we have alerts set up at two hours and five hours if the temperature is too high so i have it monitoring the temperature so this is the basement fridge if it's above 40 for two hours in a row then it goes ahead and sends a notification to me saying hey the temperature's high and tells me what the uh, device is that has that high temperature so it does that at two hours and then we have the same thing set up at five hours and then basically you know they say four hours is the time that the food can be outside that uh, safe zone so the five hours essentially is telling us you know probably need to get rid of some of that food 
Another easy location-based automation we have is alerts triggered based on people entering or exiting locations or location zones in this instance. Um, so I'll go into Home Assistant. You can see we have several here, um, one for each of the people it's going to notify. So if I just go into um, the one for like my wife, you can see that we have the uh, blueprint here. So this is one of two blueprints I'm gonna feature, um, but this blueprint addresses the zone notifications. So the zone notification extended. And then in here we can say who we want to get notified, you know, who we want to be notified about. So this is saying that Sarah would be notified based on um, me, her, um, you know, either of our kids that have phones, and then, you know, what zones do we want to be notified about in this instance, you know, if they come or leave the house, and then which device to notify. So that would be her iPhone. And it has, you know, the title and the message as well. So we can change that to whatever we want. But this is just the standard setup. So very easy to go in and make that notification, um, you know, automation, and then you get notified when people come or leave our house. I'm just trying to replicate some of the Life360 things that we've moved away from because of that integration, uh, basically going by the wayside. And I have another blueprint automation for you that I really like. Um, this one monitors the battery levels. We have a lot of Zigbee and Z-Wave devices that are battery based. So we want to monitor those throughout the, uh, you know, the time and make sure that as they drop or if they go offline, we replace those batteries. So in this instance, um, it's a daily thing and it's a blueprint based automation. So in Home Assistant here, we have the alert low battery monitor. And this is a low battery notification and actions blueprint here. And we scroll down and we can say this is an every day at 4 p.m. So these are, you know, preset items that I can choose from. If the battery is below 50%, then we get notified. And I have a bunch of things where we're excluding them because we don't want to know, you know, if our cell phone batteries are too low. That's not what we're, what we're looking for in this instance. Um, then what it does is it sends a message to me and it tells me that there's, there's a low battery and what the device is and what the battery is, or if things, you know, don't respond, it also informs me of that. And if everything's good, it tells me, yes, all the batteries are okay. So that's a really handy automation. I get that every day at 4 PM and then I can monitor if any of the batteries, you know, go into an unacceptable level.